Find the domain of this function. Okay, this is a piecewise function because it's divided into parts with by conditions. yeah with conditions. And this is the domain for this one, domain for this one. But it wants the overall domain of the function. And again, I like graphing. I like seeing a picture. Mm -hmm. We realize that the domain here is all reals. We realize the domain for this for this power function is all reals. And since the, the all reals are included. It's going to be all reals, but we're mm -hmm. going to prove it. Yeah. X plus 2. That's a line that goes through x plus 2 on an angle. And negative 2 is 0. And if I dot it in, and I make my dots big enough so that I hit them both, we agree it's some linear function that we just drew. In. Y equals x squared. Again, that's parabola. my red pen then is I'm just going to graph the function. We realize this function exists to negative 1. At negative 1, I plug it in. Negative 1 plus 2 is 1. Do you agree? Yep. So I have this big point here and this line is solid here. Yep. There it is. And it goes on forever. And then we have x squared starting there. If I plug negative 1 in, negative 1 squared is 1. So I put an open circle here. But I'm putting an open circle over a closed circle. Oh, yeah. So it doesn't look any different. And now I graph the parabola. Oh, okay. And now it's easy. When I look at the range or domain, it's all reals. It's all reals. X is an element. Because the other one. Well, and range is real easy on this one too. All reals. And we define it. So now let's try another piecewise function. All right. If we go and look at this function. And this is a piecewise function, but we're looking for the domain. Now, the only difference between this one and that one, this one has three, correct? Right? This one has three. And it has different conditions. X is less than the domain of one. Absolute value of X is less than one. X is greater than or equal to one. All right. Again, I'll start by thinking I'm going to graph this. Now we have to recall if I solve this, when we have an absolute value case, mm -hmm. there's a positive case and a negative case. And a negative case. The positive case is easy. X is less than one. Mm -hmm. Negative case is less than one. Divide by negative or multiply by negative one. So obviously, it's, this is the between negative 1 and 1, okay? Okay. Yep. So now, one thing you can do to make our lives a little easier is just dot the sections. f of x is equal to negative 1 when x is less than or equal to negative 1. Negative 1, horizontal line. Yeah. Okay. 3x plus 2 between plus 2 a slope of 3, which is pretty great. All right. And at 1, we have an intercept of 7 and a slope of negative 2. Okay. I'm going to think to myself, well, where's the x-act? A little easier this time to say, hey, there's an x-intercept right here. Mm -hmm. All right. And what's the value? Do you agree at? x equals negative 1, the y value is negative 1 here. Yep. When we plug negative 1 into this, what do we get? Three, negative, two. negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. Negative 1. So this is a solid point. Mm -hmm. And we're here. Yep. Alright. Now we plug in positive 1, we get 5. So 2, 3, 4, and now it's going to be out of scale. There will be an open circle that will come to that. Now the question is, what do you get when you plug 1 in here? Get 7 minus 2, which is 5. So, I, so from my last function, I fill in the circle. Uh, yeah. And I go down, and here is my other point. And that's my piecewise function. Negative 1 piece, 3x plus 2 piece, 7 minus 2x piece. Okay. So what's the domain? The domain is... It's all... It's all reals. 
and think about it. Range would stop that. And we'll talk about range in a second, but I want to be clear about this. What's the domain of negative one? one. All reals. Yeah. Line domain of a line. All reals. All reals. Line. All reals. Continuous on the conditions. Mm -hmm. So therefore, it's all reals. So you could have done that without. I mean, if you had a yes, you, you could just look at that. You look at that, and you know, you don't have to graph it to find yep. the domain. Now, again, when I look at the range, mm -hmm. I'm seeing that it goes forever here, so it's negative infinity. But I also see it, it maxes out at five. Yep. So I see negative infinity to five for a range. And those are two piecewise functions finding domains and ranges.